Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Olympus Trip Junior. It was a cheap point and shoot released in 1990. Like a lot of them, uh, they kind of played on the name of the Trip 35, which was a really popular, really well-made travel camera. This one has a fixed uh, 1 125th of a second mechanical shutter, ISO selections, 100, 200, and 400. Uh, it has a 33 millimeter f4.5 lens. Apparently that doesn't change and you only really get f4.5 when you have this switch all the way over and engage the, uh, the flash. A uh, page on camera wiki for the next camera in this series, the panorama version, says that it's a four element lens. It seems to be a glass lens. Um, the fixed focus is from one meter to infinity. They call it an integral automatic flash. It's automatic in the sense that if you have this slid over to the flash setting and it's charged, showing with this indicator light here, it fires. I tested that out in bright sunlight. It always fires it. So the uh, CDS cell here doesn't change the aperture, doesn't change the shutter. Pretty much all it seems to do is to give you a red warning light in the viewfinder letting you know that you should use the flash. It'll still take the shot. Um, it's motor wind. There's no uh, provision for manual anything really. Uh, at the end of the roll you hit this switch right here and it'll rewind. Other than that, it's automatic wind as you're shooting. Um, like a lot of the Olympus, it has a little, uh, it's not really a clamshell, but it has a little slider that goes over the lens. It has a really, really strange aperture shape. Um, this is what it looks like at 400, 200, and 100 ISO. And that's really the only way to, uh, to change the aperture. I did a rough calculation um, using a picture and then getting the area of it. So it seems like when it's set to ISO 100, it's about um, F8. So then it would be halves from there, probably F11, F16 for uh, 200 and 400. Um, like the X-A1, uh, I reviewed a few cameras back, uh, if you stay within the des design parameters of this camera, it actually takes really nice pictures. Just don't get too close, don't move around, because 1 125th is not that fast. So, I may have killed this thing when I was working on it, but I'll try and get it working again. I don't know if I'll use it, maybe I'll find another one in a junk store. And I'll see you then.